few more exotic techniques that we'll talk about. And with uh, the four new techniques that were added to the NEC, we now have 16 protection techniques for electrical and electronic equip equipment in hazardous locations. Three of the new protection techniques involve optical radiation. Optical radiation is often used in measurement, analysis, and control systems in hazardous locations, and its sources include LEDs, lasers, lamps, and optical fiber cables. So what's, what's the problem? Well, optical radiation can be an ignition source if it's not confined or controlled because it can heat up surfaces and the surfaces uh, can then become ignition sources. Now, these techniques originated in IEC. IEC is the International Electrotechnical Commission. It is a international organization consisting of standards bodies in a number of countries around the world. And it generates international standards. There, there are two big standards bodies. There's ISO, best known for ISO 9000, and IEC, the International Electrotechnical Commission. The electrical standards mostly come from IEC. And most of the new hazardous location techniques that are recognized in the NEC originate in IEC. And that's why they have some unusual acronyms that describe them. For, for example, inherently safe optical radiation is OPIS, protected optical radiation is OPPR, and optical system with interlock is OPSH. And the other distinctive thing about these IEC acronyms is the fact that they all use lowercase letters. So let's look at each of these techniques. Inherently safe optical radiation is in 500.7L, and it's visible radiation or infrared radiation that in normal or defined fault conditions cannot provide sufficient energy to ignite a specific explosive atmosphere. 500.7M, protected optical radiation, OPPR, exists if the optical radiation is confined in an optical medium and it can be assumed that radiation will not escape from the enclosing, enclosing medium into the hazardous area.